Ernie D. Shaver, best known as Ernie Shavers, is an American former professional boxer and two-time world heavyweight title challenger. He is considered by most boxing experts to be the hardest punching knockout artist of all time. Having knocked out or stopped 50 of his opponents inside three rounds, his one-punch power remains legendary in the boxing community. In a career spanning 26 years, Shavers defeated three world champions in Vicent Ronda Den, Jimmy Ellis and Ken Norton, as well as top contenders such as Jimmy Young and Joe Biner. Shavers' status as the hardest puncher of all time was backed up by former opponents such as Norton, Young, Biner, Ron Lyle, Muhammad Ali, Larry Holmes, and James Tillis. Amateur career, prior to turning professional, Shavers had a short but notable amateur career. He was the 1969 National AAU heavyweight champion. Early professional career, known as the Black Destroyer, Shavers compiled an impressive record, winning 44 of his first 47 fights by knockout. Mostly against unremarkable opposition. His KO streak included 27 consecutive knockouts, of which 20 victories were in the first round. He suffered setbacks with losses to Ron Stander and Stan Johnson. He began to rise through the ranks of the heavyweight division after he hired a Cleveland-based promoter and ex-con named Don King to be his manager. His wins included a novice Jimmy Young who would later become a top contender. Stepping up the class of opposition, he came to public prominence with a first-round KO of one-time WBA heavyweight champion Jimmy Ellis. His progress was halted when he was KO'd in the first round by Jerry Quarry which was followed by another loss to a journeyman Bob Stallings. Shavers then had a thunderous match with hard-hitting Ron Lyle but was stopped after six brutal rounds. He then knocked out hard-hitter Howard King and beat Roy Williams in a back-and-forth battle in which Shavers was nearly knocked out. The latter Shavers always said was one of the toughest of his whole career. Equals Shavers vs Ali equals, Shavers fought Muhammad Ali at Madison Square Garden on September 29, 1977. Coming into the bout, Shavers had a record of May 1, 54, with 52 knockouts. Ali nicknamed Shavers the Acorn, because of his shaved bald head, unlike early appearances. The fight was shown in primetime broadcast television by NBC, which rarely did primetime fights and had the judges scoring announced after each round to help avoid any controversial decision. Ali's conglomerate Angelo Dundee had a crony in the dressing room watching the broadcast, and would get signals from his friend on the scoring. In the second round, Shavers hurt Ali badly with an overhand right. Ali exaggerated his motions enough that it seemed he might be play-acting and Shavers hesitated. On the scorecard they exchanged rounds. Ali won the fifth decisively. To win the fight Ali had to survive the last three rounds. Shavers, whose stamina was suspect before the fight, came alive in the thirteenth round. In the 14th, he battered Ali about the ring. Before the 15th, Ali was on very wobbly legs. Realizing Ali needed to last three more minutes, Dundee told him, You don't look so good. You better go out and take this round. In a furious final round, the two men tagged each other, but Ali closed strongly, nearly dropping shavers in the last 20 seconds. He won a unanimous decision. The next day, Garden matchmaker Teddy Brenner encouraged Ali to retire by stating the Garden would never make another offer to host an Ali fight. Brenner also thought that Shavers deserved the nod against Ali. The fight made the cover of Sports Illustrated, with ALI's Desperate Owl featuring a photograph of Shavers scoring with an overhand right. Fight doctor Ferdi Pacheco also urged Ali to retire after noting the damage Ali had absorbed against Shavers. Ali later said Shavers was the hardest puncher he ever faced, famously stating Ernie hit me so hard, it shook my kinfolk back in Africa although Ali had previously used this amusing punch line in reference to various other hard-hitting opponents. Equals Shavers v Norton Holmes equals, in a mandatory title challenge eliminator he knocked out former champion and Ali beater Ken Norton in the first round, possibly the best win of his career. Shavers then fought for the title against skilled champion Larry Holmes at Caesars Palace in Pardise on September 29, 1979, exactly two years after his defeat by Ali. 
Shavers knocked Holmes down in round 7 but was himself knocked out in round 11 after taking punishment. Holmes, known for his ability to take a punch, later said that Shaver's blow was the hardest he had ever taken in his career. Equals later career equals, the Holmes bout was the last big match for Shavers. In 1980, he was knocked out in the seventh round by durable prospect Randall Tex Cobb. He never again fought for the world title. In 1982 he fought Joe Biner, also on the comeback trail. Biner was knocked down in the first but was stopped by cups in the second round. Shavers continued to fight professionally for several years, retiring in 1995 after losing to Brian Yates. Many thought he should have retired after his upset loss to lower contender Bernardo Mercado. Shavers suffered a similar retinal eye injury as boxer Sugar Ray Leonard. Fighting style, Shavers was a heavy-handed puncher who stalked his opponents, setting them up for his thunderous right, which was responsible for many of his knockouts. At times lacking grace and accuracy, Ernie had a reputation for exhausting himself before round seven. Critics remarked he rarely won a bout that went beyond eight rounds. In subsequent fights he fought Ali well for 15 rounds and Holmes for 11. Ernie would throw punches against any legal area he could reach, exposed or covered, relying on his tremendous power to wear down his opponents and exploiting any opening. His fighting stance produced a short and powerful image. His chin was his weakness. He could box as well as slug. Notably, he injured his right hand early in a 10-round match against rated fighter Henry Clark and then nearly jabbed Clark's head off, beating him at his own game as it were, to win on points. Equals video and book equals, Shavers published a video of highlights of his career in 1992 titled Ernie D. Shavers, the hardest one punch hitter, and later an autobiography. Life after boxing, Shavers retired in 1983 after retinal problems were discovered. After retirement, he became an ordained Christian minister and moved to Phoenix, where he preached for many years. He moved to England to pastor a church there in the early 2000s. He has been on the Benny Hinn TV show several times. During the early 1980s while preparing for the feature film Rocky III, Sylvester Stallone explored the possibility of using a real heavyweight boxer in the role of James Clubber Lang by inviting Ernie Shavers to spar with him. Shavers initially refused to hit Stallone with anything other than a soft jab. This frustrated Stallone, who asked Shavers, Gman Ernie, show me something real. Ernie responded by punching him once near the liver, forcing an immediate retirement. Stallone later said, that nearly killed me. I went straight to the men's room and threw up. Shavers has visited Ali several times and he says he, Ali, and George Foreman have become very good friends over the years. Shavers accepted the invitation of the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship International to preach at the 2002 Commonwealth Games in Manchester. Ernie also works in Liverpool in the UK, as head of security at Anna's Bar, where he is very much respected. The staff of Hannah's Bar say that he does not work there now. Until five years ago he worked at Yates Wine Lodge in Liverpool meeting and greeting. On occasion Shavers was a troubleshooting referee in professional wrestling after his retirement. He is also a patron of the Shannon Bradshaw Trust, a children's charity based in Warrington, Cheshire, helping children with life-threatening conditions, and their families. Ernie speaks to pupils at Bar Beacon Language College in Walsall. Ernie also gave a speech February 26, 2008 at the Streetly School in Walsall, which was based upon helping kids make the right decisions in life. Personal life, Shavers was married to Laverne Payne and has five daughters from their union, Tamara, Cynthia, Catherine, Carla, and Amy. He also has four daughters from other unions, Catherine, Lisa, Natasha and Latonya. He has 24 grandchildren. He worked at General Motors in Lordstown, Ohio in the late 1960s. Shavers made a guest appearance on the Irish TV program The Late Late Show hosted by Ron Lyle where the two fighters discussed their previous bout that had happened a month earlier. Shavers was a frequent visitor to the pub Roddy Bolands in Dublin. There is a signed picture of Shavers drinking a pint of Guinness on the wall there. Comeback Shavers made a short comeback in the late 1980s and early 1990s. 
After a few wins and losses he retired in 1995 after being KO'd by Brian Yates in round two. In 2003, Shavers was ranked number 10 among boxing's greatest punches in history by Ring magazine. Within the sport of boxing, he is widely considered to be the hardest puncher of all time. Shavers finished his career in 1995 with a record of 74 wins, 14 losses and 1 draw. Professional boxing record. References. External links. Muhammad Ali vs. Ernie Shavers, September 29, 1977 on YouTube. Professional boxing record for Ernie Shavers from BoxRec. Statistical analysis of the KO record of Ernie Shavers.